Venture Planner Tutorial Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Venture Planner. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And to create an account on Venture Planner, you can also use my affiliate link below the description in which by using the link, you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up. And now to start, just open your browser and kindly go to VenturePlanner.ai. But before that, if you don't know what is Venture Planner AI, it is a cutting-edge platform that revolutionizes the creation of business plans by leveraging advanced artificial intelligence technology. And this innovative tool guides users through the series of multiple-choice questions to gather information about their vision, goals, and ambition without the need for typing. And the AI analyzes these inputs to generate tailored suggestions, strategies, and precise financial forecasts. And now to start creating an account on Venture Planner, you could also click this try for free button on the top right corner or the link in the description below. Or you could also click the login button on the top right corner if you already have an account on Venture Planner. And now to know the pricing options that offer by this platform, just click this pricing button on the top panel and below here it will show you the business and consultant plan that they offer. The business plan amounting to $28 per month and here are some of the benefits it included on each plan. And while for the consultant plan amounting $20 per month, and from here it will show the corresponding benefits it included. And now by clicking try for free, you will be able to be directed on this page. And from here just scroll down until you find this question, what stage is the business at currently? So you can select here your answer either idea, startup, or growth. Then from here just choose your country. And after selecting your designated country, the next thing that you need to do is to choose your language or the localization should be used. So let's say I'm going to under here English. And after that, the next thing that you need to do is to choose your currency that you're using in your company. Then below, just answer the question, what does the business do? So for instance, my business is selling shoes. So I'm going to under here selling shoes. And after that, if you scroll down below here, the next thing that you need to do is you can choose to load AI suggestions or manual search to choose the option that most accurately describe the business. But in those option, I'm going to choose the AI suggestions. And after that, it will show you below here the result. We have your shoe store, footwear store, and retail shop. But in those option, I'm going to choose this one. So I'm going to click on it. Then below, if you scroll down, it will show you other questions such as what is the business called? In which you have the option to manually enter your business name. Or alternatively, you could simply click the suggest names button right here if you want to suggest AI for you. Then just wait for it to load and after that below here it will show you the names that has been suggested. And upon choosing the name below here, if you scroll down, all you need to do is enter your name and role. After selecting or entering your name here, just select your role by clicking in here with your founder, director, employee, consultant and many more. And I'm going to choose founder. And after that to register, you could also use your Google account or create username in which by creating username, all you need to do is enter your email address and to enter a password. But in this option, I'm going to choose to register with my Google account. So kind of click in here. Then you will be directed on this page. In which this is basically what the dashboard looks like of Venture Planner AI. From here, you can start creating new plan, access the business settings, and user access. And for instance, we're going to create a new plan by simply clicking in here. You will be directed on this page. Then proceed by clicking this create button below here to proceed. And then from here, if you scroll down below here, you have the choices to create using Plan Editor or Plan Viewer. And I'm going to choose this Plan Editor to continue working on the currently selected plan using the Plan Editor interface. And as you can see on the left side panel, you could also access the Edit Plan, View Plan, Financials, and any other options. And under this Plan Setup, you could also create your initial plan setup if you want to. And now to start creating a new plan, just go back to our homepage by simply clicking in here then proceed by clicking Plan Editor. And under this Plan Contents on the left side panel, just click this Initial Plan Setup button. Then you will be directed on this page and from here all you need to do is to simply answer all of the questions and you can track the progress on the right side panel. Such as the question in here, have steps been taken to establish the business? And you can answer either yes or no or under the date when was the business established. You can enter here the date, including the year and also the month. And aside from business date, Below it will ask you, has the business generated any revenue? So you can answer yes or no. And also from here, just edit the year and date or the month when the business is start trading. So I'm going to choose this Q2, which is April to June. Then below it will also ask you, what type of plan would you like to create? 
and below here you have the two choices which is full business plan or basic business plan and i'm going to choose this one then under this background it will ask you what is the legal structure of the business so let's say i'm going to choose sole proprietorship and apart from you are there any other individuals employed or contracted to work in the business so basically below here it will ask you some of the question that is answerable by yes or no and all you need to do is simply select your preferred answer while under this location just enter the city that your business located or if the business will operate from multiple locations you can enter here the head office then below here just select your answer to your question which of the below best describes the area that the business operates in we have here local area national international and other and i'm going to choose this local area and after that below here under product groups but if you also want to change your answer you can do so by clicking the other answer and now under product groups just answer their question does the business distribute or sell or resell any products and i'm just going to enter here yes since my business is selling shoes and after that below here it will also ask you how can these products be grouped and below here you will be able to see other answer we have here men's footwear women's footwear and children's footwear and if you also want to add a product group you can do so by clicking this button and after that below here it will ask you would the business be considered manufacturing company and i'm just going to select my answer to no and as you can see on the right side panel that our answer or the question has now been 59 percent complete so all we need to do is simply fill out all of the required information that are needed such as for this one what percentage of the businesses turnover comes from each group of products or services so let's say i'm selling 75 percent consider men's footwear and 25 percent only women's footwear and to add product group you can do so by clicking this button and aside from that under specific products or services just simply answer all of the question by yes or no since the platform excels in producing polished and professional business plans it is important to fill out or answer all of the question in order to create an efficient business plan and also venture planner ai aids in risk identification opportunity spotting and simplifying financial projections so just this one you could simply enter when will the forecast start and you could also enter here the financial year end for forecast and even how many years should financial forecast over and let's say you have now successfully answering all of the question given in here including under this tone you could also enter or choose your recommended style for business planning creation and then after that just proceed by clicking confirm plan setup button below here and then proceed by clicking the finish button below in order to proceed and after that you will be directed in here in which as you can see we have now successfully created our account and initial plan setup and if you also want to complete plan section you can do so by simply filling out all of the required information and answering the question and you could also go or answer the questionnaire for each section of the plan to generate the content while under these financial projections you could also complete the financial setup and produce your projections but you could also follow all of this step in order to fill out all of the required information successfully by simply applying or knowing these tips so basically the primary purpose of venture planner ai is to streamline the business planning process by leveraging cutting-edge artificial intelligence technology so that is just basically how you can use venture planner thank you